I'm just uh, really proud of the way this event has grown, and Mother Nature's obviously shining on us once again. So enjoy your run, uh, enjoy your beers afterwards, enjoy each other's company, enjoy the beautiful day. Out of me, can we please slow down? Can we all just open our eyes? I feel like there's nothing left we could do. So take a real deep breath and sigh. I said, no, 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 oh, no, 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 go, go, go. no, 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 oh, no, go, 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 go. So this weekend we had the Dogfish Dash. It's a 5K, 10K that benefits the Nature Conservancy Delaware chapter. And the Dash is more than just a run. I mean, honestly, there's a few folks that really go out for a PR, but most folks are there because they, they love to have a dogfish beer at the end of the race. They like to dress up in recycled and funky costumes. Uh, they like to help out nature, and they just want to have a, a fun Sunday morning. Dogfish has, has been a, uh, a great supporter of the Delaware chapter of the Nature Conservancy. We've been working with them for uh, several years now on the Dogfish Dash. One of our preserves is the Edward H. McCabe Preserve, and the other is our, our Ponders Preserve, which is on the other side of town. So those two are in our backyard, and we like to help the Conservancy uh, because these are the ones that, they're, they're our home, these are where our co-workers are going, the folks that visit the brewery are going to visit, and this event really helps to protect those areas. This year we raised $51,600, which was, I mean, just blew my mind. Yeah, I said no, 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 oh, no, 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 Mystical about the Indian Brown Hill, you hardcore runners. 